Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Uh, for those of you who are new here, I'm not, my energy usually isn't like this, okay? For, for those of you who know me really well, this is really an odd thing, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm feeling this look, man. It's like impending doom. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Boom. It's like they're having an anxiety attack. To them, it feels like they're walking into the lion's den. Okay? They know they've got to come in and make you this offer. They know they, they want to change things. They want to change things. Um, because this person has played you in the past. I mean, they full-on played you, and they know exactly what they did. That's why it feels like they're walking into the lion's den. That impending, doom, scary, anxious feeling, they're, like, shaking for real. Um, but they can't stop thinking about you. They know if they don't come in and talk to you, they're going to lose you forever. Okay? Um... Either on both sides of the coin, it's like impending doom for this person. Like, they don't even know how to calm down. They don't know how to calm down. Um, man. And they know they have, this is a player. This is a player. That they know they played you. They know that they came in and they used you for, um, for lust and personal gratification. Okay. Um, and they have to come in and face you now. This person's worried. They're, they're afraid. They, they, they don't want to get hurt, but they know they deserve it. Okay? <laughs> they know if you're going to hurt them, there's really nothing they can say about it because they full on deserve it. If you, uh, like, I feel like they're, they're, they know they need to at least come and get this off their chest and at least try. But this person is, is expecting you to reject them after how they treated you. They're hoping for a change, but they, they know, man, look, they know. They know there's a good chance that this is going to be over, but they know they've got to talk to you because you're the one. You're the one collective, and they know it. That's another, that's another reason why they're shaking, like... You know, oh my gosh, this is the person for me. This is the one I want to commit to. This is, you know what I mean? There, this is wifey, future wifey. And there, it's just, this person is just a mess. I don't like their energy. I don't even know if I'm going to put this reading out there, honestly. This is somebody who's ghosted you in the past, Collective. Um, and you've made a decision, I feel, to... Just stop communication. I mean, I don't think you're waiting for their communication anymore. Um, I don't even think you're expecting this person to show up, okay? Um, yeah, this is them. Like, I, I just feel that nervousness, them shaking. They're just a bundle of mess right now, okay? It's really what they are. Um, you could be a Gemini. Your person here could be a Scorpio, a Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, possibly a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? You could be a Cancer. Yeah, this is somebody who ghosted you in the past and you haven't spoken to them since. This could have been up to eight years ago for some of you. Eight months, eight years, maybe ten that you haven't seen heard from or spoken to this person and they're about to show up at your doorstep with an offer and an apology and wanting to make things right they're about to reach out to you they're about to talk because they have to um they can't keep dealing with this anxiety attack shoot i can barely handle it myself all right and it's not even my anxiety attack so, yeah, um, they, they've got to get this off their chest. They've got to try to make things right. They've got to make some kind of attempt. They're scared. They're freaked out. I mean, it's a full-on anxiety attack here. And those are bad. 
They're bad, man. And I feel like all they can do is think about you, okay? Now you're single out here. I feel like this person, they really underestimated you. What I feel like was, um, see, be, the two shakes before this is the Seven of Pentacles. When you're in the Seven of Pentacles energy, you're kind of um, working on something, you know? You're planting seeds. So a creative project that's going to grow into something fabulous for yourself later, okay? <laughs> um, a lot of nurturing went into that. Um, and I feel like you may have been in a vulnerable time in your life, okay? The Seven of Pentacles, that's somebody seeing you as uh, someone in peasant clothing, not having enough to bring to the table. Maybe starting a project that they didn't believe in. You know, they could have laughed at you, ridiculed you. They certainly saw you vulnerable. They certainly did. And I feel like that's when this person um, took action towards you. Came in, used you, schmoozed you, used you, and left you. Okay, to repair the damages all by yourself. They haven't spoken to you since. They haven't seen you since. Okay, and I feel like, you know, um, as a player, this person probably expected you to chase them. But in Empress and the Minor Arcana and the Two of Swords, you didn't chase. You allowed them to make their own decisions. Okay, you worked on you instead. You put all of that focus and that nurturing and love that you would have given this person into yourself. You put it all into whatever it was that you were growing at the time okay now years later right years later those seeds that you planted before and the effort you put in before it's all paying off now i if this person ridiculed you i feel like they're eating their words you know if they thought you didn't have enough to the, to bring to the table well you know Hindsight's twenty twenty, right? They 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 fooled themselves, is what they did. You know, they're realizing that um, you actually knew your value and you had self respect too. If they expected you to chase after them, no, they were dealing with an empress at the time. They just did. They weren't aware of it. Okay, so yeah, um, now they can't get their mind off of you. Okay, you're, you're the one person probably that isn't playing their game and isn't going to allow them to walk all over you and they can't stop thinking about you because of it. Because of all that you've accomplished here. Yeah, this is somebody who ghosted you and somebody who's literally shaking. They're shaking. They're weak in the knees, collective, is what they are. Uh, because they know they're about to come forward and have to explain all of the hideous things that they did to you, okay? They got to look you in the eye and tell you what they did. You know, I feel like though this person, they want you. I feel like they've had their back turned towards you. They have. But if you look at this card, they've got their one hand on this one wand. That signifies them wanting to have a new beginning, choosing a path, right? And they're looking out into space, basically, like, I could have had it all. I could have had it all. I could have had unconditional love with somebody who would have never hurt me. You looked up to this person. You trusted them. You would have never hurt them with mittens on. You were absolutely innocent in this. Okay? They took advantage of you in a vulnerable, innocent time. When you already, you know, thought this person was the cat's meow. You know? It, it, I feel like um, they really took advantage of you. Collective. And, uh, but yeah, you kept focused on your, you kept focusing on you, working on your own business, and you left them to make their own decisions, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you're, you took control of your own life. Now you're both like looking in opposite directions. You see that? I feel like you're going in opposite directions here, and that 
is freaking them out. See, because they don't want to miss you. They don't or they don't want to miss out on this um, blessing and love. I feel like that they, they've had this blessing and love shoved in their face, and they turn their nose up at it. Because I feel like at the time when you met them, you could have you could have just been in the in the Seven of Pentacles energy. They didn't think he had enough. Yeah. They didn't think you were fancy enough. They didn't think you were flashy enough. Now, look at you now, right? Look at you now. Now you're this person's wish fulfillment. And they're very burdened by that. I feel like this is, you're a major turn on for this person. Not only do you have um, everything that you need here and then some. You're very abundant, very successful. You could be a boss, business owner. You're happy being single. Okay? You're ready for love. I feel like you're open to new love. You're looking forward to the future. You're enthusiastic. You're the sexiest queen in the deck. And you're a warrior who's been put through it and show nothing but strength and integrity. Yeah, they're very passionate about you. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person could live a distance from you as well. Um, sorry about that, Collective. <sighs> Something happened with my camera, and I didn't even know it stopped. So I think I have to back up a little bit. Because um, we were, I was just talking to you about th this Ten of Pentacles that came out, Okay. I don't know if we caught that at the tail end or not. But, um, yeah, they're extremely burdened, right? They know your wish fulfillment. And look at you now. I feel like you were in that Seven of Pentacles during a time of struggle and vulnerab vulnerability. Um, but now it's like you have 20 Pentacles here just for you. The most you can have in the deck is 10. You've got 20. You've got 10, 9, and, the, uh, and another 1 here. You've, you're being double blessed, okay? Um, so, yeah, your person, they look, they know exactly what they did. They know they did it on purpose. They knew what they were doing when they hurt you. And now they know exactly what they lost in doing that, okay? They know what they lost. And most of all, it's not just about your pentacles now. It's about what it takes to get here. Let's talk about, before I show you this card, right? Let's talk about all of this. Number one, you're solid, okay? You're solid, you're strong. Number two, it takes a great, like a huge work ethic, a really awesome work ethic to get to this level. You've got to be dedicated. You've got to have drive, motivation. You have to be responsible. You have to be reliable, okay? Committed to whatever it is that you're growing. You have to have a nurturing, loving ability to nurture something that you love to grow into this much success, all right? This takes time. It takes effort. Um, and it takes focus, all right? And I feel like above everything, this person is seeing how strong you are. See, they thought you were vulnerable. They thought you were weak. They saw your love as a weakness at the time, but not anymore. Now they're realizing just what you're made of. And they're also realizing they were blind to leave you, to treat you the way that they did, and then leave you behind like you were nothing. Okay? You've been the one in this connection that has put the effort in. Most likely the only one. All right? Um, and it shows. It's paid off. Okay? Um, but you've also been the only one who's had integrity. See, even when this person treated you like you were nothing, you knew your value. You kept doing the right thing when nobody was looking. They couldn't even do the right thing when they knew they had to. I feel like you've proven this person who the strongest link is here in this so far. Okay, now this person, they're going to be showing a lot of strength in coming forward and facing you. That's for sure. Okay, 
um, because they literally feel like they're going into the lion's den here. They really do feel that impending doom. I kid you not. I kid you not. And even though they know this is like, though, oh, though I walk through the shadow of, you know, of death, right? <laughs> I know, I know you're with me, right? Um, yeah, I feel like this person, they know they're, they're, they could be walking straight into getting their heart broken. They could be walking straight into being rejected, but they know they have to do it. They know they've got to do it. This could be the first sign of strength this person's ever shown you, collective. Okay? Yeah, so get ready. I feel like this person they're also going to they're also going to tell you I see you from a whole new perspective now. They see all your qualities, your strengths. They don't see you as as being in a weakened state anymore. Now they see you being strong and accomplished. Okay? So they see you from a whole new perspective now. Now they want this new beginning. I feel like this person's about to come in. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, Virgo, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Pisces energy too. I feel like uh, you could be a Leo, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. All right? Take it however it resonates. So it's just energy, my darlings. So let's see what they're feeling, okay? What is this person feeling about the collective and this situation? How do they feel about the collective and this situation? I think it's pretty clear. They're having an anxiety attack, okay? At least it's clear to me they're having a major anxiety attack. Here you are, look, okay, yeah, see, they've been really too shy to approach you because you're out here making boss moves. You really are. You're out here um, taking leaps of faith, right? Um, making bold moves for yourself, enthusiastic about the future. I feel like they're watching you kind of move forward and getting over them. They're watching you get over them. And that's why they're afraid to approach. This person's very regretful. Um, they could be looking over, like looking at old photos, maybe reading old text messages, okay, doing some crying. They're very, they're, it says remorseful, sorry. Yeah, they are sorry, I'll tell you that. Um, they want to drop these burdens. I feel like you're, you're going to get this communication. Um, yeah, they want to drop the burdens, and as soon as I say that, the burden card came out in reverse, really. Yep, now they're the ones feeling vulnerable, okay? They're the ones feel, feeling very vulnerable in all of this, because they don't know what, you're gonna, what your answer is going to be. They don't know if you're going to talk to them again. They don't know if they're going to get any kind of chance. They don't know if they're facing an argument or a fight. They don't know how you're going to react. They don't know how you feel about them. This person doesn't know anything. And they put themselves in that position. Okay? They put themselves there. All they can do is come in and hope for the best. Really, that's what this is. They're coming in hoping to change things around. And they know they have to do it. Okay? All right, give me uh, just a couple more. How does this person feel about the collective? They see you making those boss moves, bold boss moves. I feel like this person, yeah, they're in love with you, collective man. They're in love with you. They're in love, all right? Um, I feel like they chose somebody. Uh, they were confused. I feel like they had somebody else in the background, a friends with benefits, okay? Maybe it was somebody that they had a family with. Um, but I feel like this person was very confused. Now they're just, there's that panic. Panic, shame, feeling powerless because they really don't have any excuse. They don't have a reason. Like, they got nothing. And they still have to come in and explain themselves, okay? They're ashamed of themselves. They are they know that they they know that um, they hurt you so bad. 
I, I feel like this person kind of looks for you everywhere in public, too, thinking that they're going to bump into you. And they're nervous about that, too. They're afraid to face you, okay? But if they don't face you, they can't live with how they feel about themselves. Yeah, they could be watching you a lot, um, wondering if you have somebody new. Uh, they know that you're ready for love. You've got everything that you need except for that that one pentacle in, in well, in this card anyway. Where are you? In this one. The only thing you don't have is a soulmate connection and a commitment. That's it. And you're happy being single out here. You're happy being single. All you need is you. And this person, all they need is you. They're unfulfilled without you. Yeah, you're just out here having your wishes fulfilled. And they could be, they, they should have been at your side for the, through this, you know? They should have been at your side building this empire that you're building on your own, right? But, um, yeah, this person chose to play you instead. They didn't see your worth, collective. But boy, um, do they respect and admire you now. Anyway, listen, that's what I've got for this energy, um, for this reading. Yeah, I want to clear this energy out because they're, they're a nervous wreck and I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I can't take it. So yeah, I'm going to clear my energy it's crazy energy tonight. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what.